Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about how to make alphabet caterpillars for your kids. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nick. I'm the Bearded Housewife. Thanks for being here. Today we're going to be talking about how to make these alphabet caterpillars for your kids rooms my son is having a little bit of an issue with uh, learning his alphabet especially right now with them being gone from school for so long so I came up with this way to use my Cricut to make something for his wall that he could look at every day and maybe by seeing the alphabet and uh, saying it to himself or singing the ABC song, he'll be able to connect which letter is which and in the sequence of the ABCs. So we'll head over to my blog and we will get the file and then we'll go over to Design Space and we will get started. Okay, so we are here at my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com. We are going to head over to the Resource Library tab. And if you don't have access, you can hit get access and then you will fill out the form and then you will be emailed the password to the resource library. But for now, we're going to go to enter the library and head over and type in the password and hit enter. And you are brought into the library and you are going to scroll down until you find alphabet caterpillar. You're going to click on the file and you will download it to your computer and we can head over to Design Space and get started. All right, now we are in Design Space and we are in a new project, Blank Canvas. You're going to head over to Upload and then Upload Image. Click Browse and you're going to find where you downloaded the file onto your computer and hit Open. You can rename the file if you'd like, but then hit Save. You're going to click on that file and hit insert image. It'll bring it into design space. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go up to ungroup and we are going to click that so that we can work on each individual letter. And because we want our Cricut to draw some of the images as far as the letters and then the facial features of the caterpillar, first let's do the face. You're going to highlight all of these cut lines on his face and change those to draw. And now you want to highlight the entire group and hit attach. Now because I want this to go on the wall, we are going to need to resize all of the little parts of his body. So you want to highlight the caterpillar. And notice I'm including the antenna. And I am going to change the head to 8 inches. Because I want his head to be a little bit bigger than his body, right? Now let's move that out of the way. And now we need to change all of the letters of the alphabet to draw because again we want the Cricut to draw the letters so that the kids can color them in right so you're gonna to need to highlight all of the letters of the alphabet if you're using a desktop computer you can just hold the shift key and select all of the letters if you're using a mobile device, you will have to do this individually. Change all of those to draw. And see how it changes it? Now you just need to highlight each individual body part and hit attach. This lets the Cricut know that you want to draw the letter first and then cut the image out because if you didn't do this it would end up separating everything and it would be a great big mess. And now we need to resize each letter of the alphabet. Now you can change these to any size that you want 
but I'm going to be changing them to six inches. I wanted the alphabet to be a little bit smaller than the caterpillar head and it really worked perfectly for my son's wall. So once again I'm going to go up here and I'm going to change it to six inches and hit enter and there we go take that out of the way and we're going to repeat this step for all of the letters of the alphabet. Now that all of the letters are taken care of we need to change the caterpillar legs. So we're going to change that to three inches once that's resized, you can head up to duplicate and duplicate the legs as many as you want. I have chosen to use 20 legs because I didn't want every single letter to have a leg on the bottom of the letter. Now that we have all of our legs, we can head up to make it. All right, and you can see that it has put the layers in a little bit of a different manner. So I am going to do a little bit of adjusting as far as placing the different layers on different mats. So you hit the three dots and hit move object and you can select which mat you would like them to go onto. So I am going to change it to where two pieces of the body will print out or excuse me cut out at the same time. I'm going to make those adjustments for all of the letters. Now our mats are situated, we can hit continue and we're ready to head over to our machine. Okay, we're going to need our green Cricut mat, our colored cardstock, and our black pen. So we're going to load the mat by clicking the flashing arrows. And take our Cricut pen with the arrow pointing down. Load that into clamp A, snap that shut, and hit the flashing C and we are ready to cut all of our images out. All right, those were the last of my images, so I'm going to get these ready, and now the kids can start to color them and make them their own.
Okay, now that we have everything colored in, I am going to add the antenna or antennae and all of the legs to the different parts of the body before we hang it up on the wall. And here it is up on the wall. Now I just used uh, packing tape to adhere it to the wall. I think it turned out so cool. What did you guys think? I think that is so easy. And the fact that the kids get involved as far as coloring in the letters and they can even help figure out where to put the caterpillar in their room or how they want it to kind of wiggle around the wall, I think it's really, really fun. We had a lot of fun putting it together and I hope that you and your, you and your kids do too. Until next time, guys, make sure that you head over to my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com. If you like this video, drop a like or a comment and subscribe to the channel so you know every time that I put out a new video. Until then, I'm Nick. I'm the Bearded Housewife. I will see you guys later. Bye.